Hello. Hello. Ravan, yeah. can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Okay. Let's start. So we now. want to have a video call or uh, no, no, a... no, no, no. It's not required. You can turn off the video. I'll be sharing my okay. screen. You can turn off the video. Okay. It's not required. Yeah. Okay, so uh, see, just uh, now. First of all, just give me a brief uh, overview of your requirement. What you are doing? What work is there? What is your field, right? And what yeah. is the exact requirement to learn German? And then we'll just uh, I'll just give you a brief overview about us, and then we'll be starting with our pronunciation with the demo directly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, okay, so my my name is Anand Joshi. So yeah, I mean, right now I am. I'm doing it more or more as a English, and I'm mm -hmm. taking someone with me who knows German. In case I have to, I have a customer who doesn't know English, then uh, mm -hmm. there is a some translation going on mm -hmm. in, uh, during my interaction. Okay. Uh, which I want to avoid. I want to have a direct contact with the customer. Yes. And uh, it, it always helps to. Be, uh, you know, talk to them in their language. Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. It will be now nice. instead of using a. Interpreter, obviously, if you can directly yeah. handle that, that would be like ten times better, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, sixty percent of the time, I am able to. I mean, they are able to speak in English, mm -hmm. but I mm -hmm. just, I just, I just want to get rid of this particular constraint, okay. so that uh, I, I become independent while talking mm -hmm. to the customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it will help in rapport building and all of that. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Good. 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 So ultimately, the requirement is that that you want to become fluent in the language. You want to exactly. speak with yeah, the yeah. client as early as possible. That, that is the exact requirement. Yeah. Okay. That is the exact requirement. Yes. Yes. Good. I got that. Okay. Uh, right. So now let's start with our topic. Uh, see, I'll just tell you about uh, uh, me also. Okay. So okay. we are having uh, uh, two centers here. Uh, I am basically from uh, Jaipur, Rajasthan. Right. We have uh, two centers here. Namaste German is the name that you can check on Google. later so we have two mm -hmm. offline centers here and morely my work is online and online it's like one to one uh, flexible classes online okay? okay for doctors engineers and other working people from india or from other countries okay mm -hmm. so you know the biggest benefit is that uh, uh, it's a one to one class so one to one you can understand one to one means only one student will be there okay so it's yeah. like a totally yeah. flexible classes right uh, completely flexible timings you need not to worry for missing any class you are not mm -hmm. going to miss any class Okay, mm -hmm. the lectures will be held as per your availability only, right? As in when you are available. In in that manner, we'll try to keep the lectures so that you can utilize your available time without skipping any lecture. Okay, sure. that is the thing. Sure. And uh, second thing, you know, uh, at my end also, like sixty to seventy percent people who are learning, they are having almost the similar requirement which you have. That is morely intended towards uh, uh, getting fluent in the language and speaking in German as early as possible. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is the thing, right? Uh, but overall, we handle both the things. It's not just that we handle the grammar or only, only the spoken thing. We handle that thing also. Obviously, that is the most important thing which you said. And apart from that, we handle the exam thing also. Okay, okay. right. Good. So you know, uh, because ultimately, you give exam or you don't give exam, that depends on you. But you have to, in your, if you want to become fluent in that uh, language, if you want to speak with your client, obviously, if you practice in the pattern of exam, that will be much helpful for you. Okay, because yeah, in exam I, also. I want to give mm -hmm. the exam. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think once uh, I will get a grasp on the overall yes. syllabus and material, uh, there is no way I want to skip the exam. So I yes. want to skip B one and B two. So yes, yes. That is very clear in my mind. That is even the that is the best approach. Yeah. So your approach should be, you know, your first target should not be the exam. First target should be with that within three, four, five months, you or within a four to five months, you should be fluent in the language. That should be the first target. Okay, and yeah. second thing should be once you have achieved that, once you are yourself able to see that, okay, now you are able to speak with the people, you are able to handle them, understand them, you are able to listen them uh, and un understand them. Then you make a target of B one, ex right B one, and then the B two. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, make the, in that uh, manner, right? It should not be the case that from day one you are worrying for the exam. Don't do that. First, your main focus is to get fluent in the language. So put all your time and energy on that thing. Okay, sure. and once we have achieved that, then parallelly we will start inclining towards the exam. So obviously the course will be exactly as per the exam curriculum only. We'll be covering everything: reading, writing, mm -hmm. listening, speaking. Everything we'll be covering. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. see, today now we'll be starting with this uh, uh, small topic. Today it is just a kind of demo. Okay. So we are not going to do any topic in detail. It is you know this lecture is basically for you to see my 
curriculum to see my training style and just to see whether you have understood whether you are able to understand the things or not okay and in case okay. you have any questions regarding curriculum regarding exam preparation regarding material regarding books anything which you want to ask you can discuss that also with me parallelly okay uh, yeah. right so, so i have one question uh, mm-hmm. raman so yeah. uh, obviously you will be uh, we will be having these classes uh, regularly mm-hmm. uh, in addition uh, i think I, i assume you will give me some notes as well right? yes yes definitely uh, definitely what all what okay. all material i am showing to you on the screen everything you will be getting as it is today itself i'll send you Okay. okay okay so no, so no need to buy down any books and all no need to write, take down any notes and all all the material pdf i'll show you some files you can see here these are the grammar files which are there okay 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 uh, one second i can i can open many such uh, you can see these are all people one to one people who are learning from me i can open any random folder so whatever okay. grammar files are there as it is i'll be giving to you for your revision you can take them in your phone also for revision okay uh-huh. and apart from that audio files also will be there for uh, helping you to learn the vocabulary okay so all that uh, uh, thing is there so no need to take down any notes you can either take their print out or if uh, you don't have okay. option to take print out you can you can just refer them in soft copy or you yeah, can I mean, make down your own notes using them yeah, okay. yeah. so i will be anyway taking mm-hmm. notes not not very extensively mm-hmm. but just so that i keep, it helps me to kind of remember things yes, well yes that uh, definitely that's very important obviously you have to do that right and uh, i have whatever yeah. sheets i'm sending you after that you will not require any other book to refer okay, okay. because already we are covering another yeah mm-hmm. so another thing i uh, i kind of uh, i'm thinking mm-hmm. so what could be the maybe podcast or maybe youtube video i should listen mm-hmm. to uh, right right now right now nothing you have to listen okay it will create okay. more confusion okay. to you at proper correct time i will myself tell you which channel which series you have to start okay initially okay. But, at least perfect. for coming 20 sessions nothing you have to do nothing right first of all i need to see your uh, uh, what kind of homework you are doing how much time you are putting on the class okay uh-huh. Uh-huh. assuming as of now i am assuming that okay everything will be going on smooth you will be able uh-huh. to put the required time on the homework and all okay after seeing that then i will be advising you where to start okay right oh, because perfect. right now you have to put all your uh, energy on my homework all your time on my homework whatever is there because you are already okay. you know you are already working you have very limited time right now i'll tell you see this is the ratio which you have to follow one hour will be my lecture after that two hours homework i'll be giving you okay perfect so mm-hmm. you can already understand you are already occupied for three hours okay uh, if you uh, even uh, if you uh, take uh, like uh, 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 two lectures in a week or if you take three lectures in a week right then 3 into 3 like 9 hours you are occupied so how in 7 days you have to devote 9 hours okay that means on average you have to devote 1.5 hour in a day that is all, all already a challenge considering the thing that you are already working okay uh, right so you know first of all you have to take this thing seriously that whatever homework i am giving you that should not go anywhere that you have to do and once we have reached sufficient level of grammar once you have reached at least that much level of grammar that okay now i can start some youtube video i i can suggest you many channels are there you can watch them okay there is no end of material internet is full of materials but we have to prioritize them we have to take the correct thing at the correct time okay the first focus Perfect. should be should be should be my homework and then once we have more time then we will be able to utilize that i'll tell you hundreds of sources not one i'll tell you hundreds so you can you can in your free time you can keep on accessing them okay Okay. Right, uh-huh. but first of all, you have to put my homework because you know we are already the notes which we have prepared, the homework which we are giving. If you even if you do that, even if you don't follow any YouTube and all, nothing is required, right? If you just do my homework, you will see language coming onto your tongue in next forty forty five lectures, right? So you don't have to Perfect. take extra pain for that. You take pain first of all for the homework. After that, you will find that okay, it's half of the things, the ninety percent things we have already done, right? Then just for your hobby, you can start watching them. Otherwise, it's not required. You know, all these things are required. by people who are not there in germany right who are like yeah. people are who are there in dubai or who are there in india you know these people need all those things that for extra listening and all what they can do but you are there in germany i will tell you one thing whatever you are learning from me try to implement it outside as much as possible after 20 lectures okay initial 15 20 lectures you will take some time to adjust you will take some time to understand the things but once you have reached that uh, stage then you directly implement it outside that is the best way to practice instead of depending on any, any on any youtube video or any other podcast and all okay perfect ha uh-huh. yeah okay so see now we'll start the topics see today we'll be starting with one very uh, uh, simple topic of pronunciation 
okay uh-huh. in pronunciation what do we do whenever we start a language first of all we have to understand that what are the elements used in that okay what are the a b c d used if, if there is any other script what are the letters used right and what are the corresponding sounds of them yeah so uh-huh. german as uh-huh. you know see it's a european language okay uh-huh. it has the same roman set of alphabets which we have in english the same a b c d right uh-huh. it has the same a b c d which we have in english the same numerals 1 2 3 4 which we have in english as it is uh-huh. Uh-huh. right but the thing is you know english abcd and german abcd is different right uh-huh. english abcd uh-huh. is abcd efg h i j k l m n so on yeah and uh-huh. german abcd is different which I, a video i'll be playing right now okay this video uh-huh. i will be sharing to you on your uh, skype also you can watch it from there also right uh-huh. uh, you can listen to that three four times and you have to learn the german abcd also and the utility of this where we will be needing that that i will tell you after 5 minutes okay uh-huh. so i am playing one video try to observe that i will play it twice try to observe that and then we will compare this german abcd with the english abcd okay uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah listen that a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x Y clear Uh-huh. So that was yeah. German A B C. Now let's compare it. See, we say A B C D E F G in English. Okay. Uh-huh. In German they say A B C D E F G. Yeah. Right. Then we say A F G. Yeah. Yeah. A F G. Yeah. A B C D E F G. So listen to it. A B C D E F G. Okay. A B C D E F G. Simple. Uh-huh. Then uh-huh. we say H I J K L M N O P in English. Uh-huh. Right. H I J K L M N O P in English. In German we say H E J O T. J is called J O T. Okay. H E J O T K L M N O P. Listen. H E J O T K L M N O P. Okay. And K K called H E J O T K K. Okay. K K. H E J O T K L M N O P. Clear. L M N O P. We say P. They say P. P. That is the name of letter. Right, L M N O P. Then we say Q R S T U V W in English. Uh-huh. Right, Q R S T U V W. They will say Q R, Q R S T U V O W. Listen. Q R S T U V O W. Okay, Q R S T U V O W. Got it. Uh-huh. And X Y and Z. X Y and Z in English. They will say X Y and Z. X Y and Z. So listen to this. X Y and Z. When I say and, this and means and. Okay. X Y and Z. So and means and. Right. So once again, I am playing. Try to observe this. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V O W X Y Z. So that was the German A B C D, right? I will be sharing this video with you right away. Yeah, uh-huh. you can download it later and continue to listen that. Uh-huh. Now see where we will be using this video. If you observe, I have just given you the A B C D. I have not given you the sounds. Mm. Right, the name of letter mm. I have given you A B C D E F G A B C D E F G. I have just given mm-hmm. you the names of letters. Right, I have mm. not told you the sounds. So if you, mm. let's say, tell me your name. Anand A N A N D A N A N D. Right. So your name is Anand. Got it? Your name is yeah. Anand. I call you as Anand. I never call you as A N A N D. Yeah. Getting my point. Okay, so I think it will be used when you call say BMW. So BMW. Yes, yes, so yes. I'm just coming. Yes, yes. I'm coming on to that. So when I write my name, you will call me as Raman. Yeah. 
right mm-hmm. you will not call me as r a m a n got it mm-hmm. so the video which i have given you this a b c d where you will be needing that you know whenever you have capital letters in front of you okay mm-hmm. let's say mm-hmm. i have the word b m w the example which you took same example mm-hmm. i am taking in english mm-hmm. we say b m w simple mm-hmm. okay german mm-hmm. people, people will not say b m w they will say the german sound of b m and w that is a b c d b okay m n u a u f a u a so they will say b m w speak b m w yes yes that means b m w in english it's b m w in german in deutsch it's b m w simple right b m w similarly if i say c d in english i will say c d right they will say a b c d they will say c d c d you work for volkswagen right in short it's called v w right VW. in india in mm. india we never say vw but in germany they say vw oh, okay vw mm. right u vw remember u vw u vw x epsilon un set yeah? yeah so from that vw this vw sound is coming of german that's vw so you can see wherever i have acronyms these capital letters there i will be using using the needing the actual german abcd sound okay mm. there mm. i will be using mm. the actual german abcd sound i will be using yeah mm. and one more thing in your a1 exam you will find it's a very uh, like kind of fixed pattern question in that what they will be using saying they will be asking you to spell down to sorry to pronounce the letters of your first name okay okay letters of mm. your first name a n a n d right mm. so a mm. n a n d got it mm. never say a n a n d you will say a n a n d yeah that is the way that is a fix kind of fix question 99% they always ask that you spell uh, na you have to uh, read out the letters consequent letters of your first name okay uh-huh. apart from that only in the capital letters you might need this abcd so you have to learn this right you have to just like you have learned the english abcd you just yeah. listen to this video 3 4 times i have sent it already yeah sure. and try to learn this so now let's come on to our point what i was saying if, if i call you i will call you as anand right uh-huh. i will not call you as a n a n d uh-huh. right so that is the thing which i am yeah. trying to explain you the thing which we have done so far we have done the names of letters okay uh-huh. we have done the uh-huh. names of letters ki a is called a in german n is called uh, n in german okay right h e j k l m n o p l m n so n is called n uh-huh. got it but uh-huh. now i need the sounds whenever i want to speak some language or whenever i want to speak the word i need the sounds just like in english when you when i call you anand i am using the sound of a that here the sound of a is a right the sound of n is n again the sound of next a is a anand got it so when i speak the language practically i need the sounds of letters right i need the sounds of letters so that topic will start now that is the most important topic okay that topic will start now one by one So if you see here what I am doing is I am opening one pdf in front of you uh-huh. from where we'll be starting the sounds of letters the sheet I am already sending you here you can uh-huh. take a print out later I have already sent you on skype chat okay for your reference uh-huh. yeah now see here we'll be focusing on the sounds so german uh-huh. as i told you it uses the same roman sort of set of alphabets from a till z Uh-huh. yeah the same script is there if you see japanese korean chinese right in these languages we have different script uh-huh. yeah the letters are different but in german we have the same roman alphabets which are there in french spanish english in all these languages so there are two parts vowels and consonants right uh-huh. vowels and consonants uh-huh. apart from these 26 letters a till z we have uh-huh. one more thing we have if you have seen there are two dots okay two uh-huh. dots the umlaut letters if you see here umlaut alphabets uh-huh. right this two dots there are three extra alphabets a umlaut o umlaut and u umlaut okay uh, these two uh, dots this symbol is called as umlaut uh, this two uh, dot okay. this symbol is called as umlaut so on th- apart from the normal a or u we have extra a umlaut o umlaut and u umlaut in the language okay uh, so their sound i will tell you where they will come and one last letter we have this beta chemistry beta uh, okay double s yes uh, it's not double s actually right the sound is like double s but you should not you should not replace beta equal to double s in your spelling uh-huh. when you are writing or texting you should not replace beta into double s 
Okay. Uh, the name uh, of this letter is S set. It is not called beta. Actually, it's used in chemistry. So uh, people have developed the habit of calling it as beta. It's not called beta. Actually, the name of this letter is called S set. That's the name. Okay. The name is S set and the sound is sir. Got yeah. it? Sound is sir. So I will say asan and gross. Sound is sir. But mm. make sure you will not replace the spelling into double S. Okay. okay. You have whatever address you have of your apartment, you have seen Strasser Street. Okay. So Strasser yeah. is having this beta, this S set into it. So mm. never in your Strasser, never replace S set with double S. Okay. Okay. Never do that thing. You should not do that. You have to so keep it beta. You call only. it S set, right? S set. S set. Okay. Est, 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 just like east or west. So east, the correct uh, form is est, est set. Est, est set. Yes, correct. That is the name of this letter, and the sound is sir. Yeah. yeah. But the way you have written is e s s dash t s c t, right? Yeah, yeah. So that, you... Est set. It's written like that only with the hyphen. Okay. Sometimes you can write it without hyphen also. Okay. Set. Yeah, but it's overall it's called est set only. Okay. Okay, and that is the name of letter, right? The sound is sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So apart from this A till Z, I told you that we have four extra letters: the four three umlaut letter, A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut, and we have that beta that is called S okay. set. So total we have twenty six plus four extra thirty letters 30, are there. 30, 30. Yeah. So first of all, we'll be starting with this A till Z. See, I told you there are vowels and consonants. Right, uh, all this we have done in the school. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Consonants are B, C, D till whatever remaining are there. Twenty one. That is consonant. Okay. Uh, one by one, we'll uh, take their sound. First of all, I am drawing one table here. Listen to this. Uh, Whenever in German, if any word is ending with B, D, and G, any uh, word ending with B, D, and G, ending means in the end of the word if B, D, or G is coming. Any uh, German word if it is ending with B, D, and G, respectively. The sound of that B, D, and G will be per, t, and k sound. Okay, uh, per, t, and k uh, sound respectively. If you see, the, if you see the example here, G, I, B. Now tell me what is coming in the end. Gip. B. Yeah, B is coming, so per sound will come. This is like gip. Okay. In this double quotes, I have written the sound which you have to read. Okay. I have written the sound in English so that after the class is over, once you refer the PDF, you you have written it here like what what you have to speak, what you have to read. Okay, so you have to read it like geep. Speak, geep. Okay, geep. Correct. And geep means give. 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 So right now our focus is not on the meanings. You can leave the meanings. Okay, no need to read the meanings. Just make sure that you are able to understand the sound. For coming two lectures, we have to put all our energy on the sounds. Okay. You have to be. You know, I'll tell you one thing. This pronunciation is not that much easy in German. Okay. The problem is that you know these people. The simple trouble with them is. They write something else and they speak something else. Okay, <laughs> that is the okay. problem here. And then definitely, that's the problem. And if you compare it with other languages, in Spanish, it's just like reverse. What you are writing, same you have to speak. Ninety-nine percent of the cases in Spanish okay. words. Okay, so these are some small, small factors which make this language little bit difficult. It is difficult only when you have not done the rules. Only and only till that time only. Right? Today, after thirty, forty minutes, you will yourself say me that it was very easy. Okay, so these rules are you know kind of short tricks, kind of magical rules which will make the pronunciation very very easy for you, right? Mm. On complete YouTube, you will get only my channel which is having these rules as of now. I don't know later someone copies or not. Okay, but as of now, nobody has. So you will everyone has that A B C D, right? And you, I'll tell you what they do in the demo. They will directly give you greetings, Ish Aiza Raman, Ish Koma, Aus Indian, and all these things. Okay, so that thing I don't do. You know, for coming two three lectures, we'll be playing with this A B C D only. Right, but the yeah. benefit would be once I end the pronunciation, you will find you are almost almost equivalent to reach the sound of a native person, at least ninety five percent. Okay, yeah. and yeah. that fear will go away. How to read? You know that if I told you they read, they write something else, they speak something else. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, second problem I'll tell you. The thing is, you are already there. You have you have seen their documents. Like forty yeah. fifty percent of the words are at least you know they are like. Three four letter extra, they are lengthy more. Okay, in English, in English, six seven letters are something which you can make endless words. In German, you will find twelve thirteen fourteen letters are very common for them, very usual. Okay? Yeah. So word yeah. length is very lengthy, right? That that creates more fear. Care the word is so lengthy. How you will speak from where to start and where to end? Such a lengthy word. Okay, but 
the problem is that you know why the words are lengthy because in their language they merge two or three words of english together okay mm. example mm. i will take one example we have one word in english orange juice okay mm. uh, two different let words orange space juice okay mm. in german we have one single word you know that orangensaft okay there is a single mm. word of that they, they, and zaft is actually juice orang is orange so they have mm. combined it together okay that kind of mm. thing you will find it many places many words it was just one example and it was not mm. that much lengthy i can give you many words wherein they have combined multiple words of english together or multiple word meanings together and they have reframed a new word which is a single single word it's not a two word okay mm. so that kind of trouble is there the word length is lengthy so at that time you know the pronunciation should be practiced properly thoroughly then only you can attempt to read that otherwise all forget all grammar and everything right you will be afraid of even reading the words that is the length of words here mm. okay mm. right and mm. you know when you are sitting with the client whether you have done a1 or whether you have done b1 or b2 all these things are aside right the, all these things matter only when you are giving the interview right yeah, once you are selected in the company when you are going with your client on a lunch at that time if you are not able to pronounce the words properly whatever be the reason right the word is lengthy or whatever you don't know the rule or some mistake is there then you can understand that does not create a good impression okay right and that that will exactly. just pull pull you down you know that's why i've seen there are people who initially the beginners right not the people who are living there they are, if you live there for 2 3 years you will be able to handle all the words even if i don't give you the rules right but the newcomers who reach there first time right and who have recently cleared b1 i am not talking about even people okay or who have recently cleared a2 and now just landed into german even they are afraid of speaking that is this is one of the reason because half of the time they are doing hit and try ki whether whatever i am trying to speak whether it's uh, pronounced correct or wrong right that is the single question first of all and then comes the grammar and all other things are there okay so one by one you will find that these rules will make the things very very easy for you they little bit they look they might look little bit difficult to for you but once you spend some time with them you will find they become very easy okay so the table was any word ending with in b d and g respectively the sound will be p t and k pert and ker sound yeah so geep is geep, uh, this g i b is geep Keep. Next second word speaker. Kent. 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 T for tomato. Kent. Kent. Ah. Okay. Kent. Yeah. Kent. Next. Tag. Yes, this is very important. Ninety-nine percent Indians you will find they speak Guten Tag. It's not Tag. Okay. You know what is the correct sound when you speak to your client? Your client replies Guten Tag. He never says Guten Tag. Mm -hmm. Got it? So you have to yeah. speak Guten Tag only. That is the actual sound. It is not Guten Tag. Guten Tag is the wrong sound. Okay. you can see any youtube video every native german who has made a video he will always say guten tag he will never say tag okay mm. so you have to remember mm. these rules okay let's move on to our first letter the first letter is a okay mm. the first letter is a in a you know we have two sounds two mm. sounds which are already present in your name if i write your name anand this is your name right yeah. so there are two a in your name mm. right the first a is having the a sound a for anand a sound mm. and the second mm. a is having a anand a anand got it the mm. middle a is mm. having the a sound you are getting my point mm. okay mm. these are the two sounds of german a also right mm. only mm. these are the two sounds in english if you find i'll write many words see here india okay indian mm. man mm. you can see if i write many more sounds will originate Mm. Here, mm. India, the sound of A is A. Okay. Mm. Indian, the sound of A is A. Oh. Man, mm. the sound of A is A. Okay. Mm. If I write W A R M, warm, the sound of A is O. Oh. You can see so many hints are there. First, somewhere it is A, somewhere it is O, somewhere it is A, somewhere it is O. Okay. Mm. If I think a little bit more, I can I can find some more some more sounds mm. also. So that is the problem in English. It looks easy for for us because we are using it since last twenty thirty years. Okay, mm. but if I ask you to uh, decipher a logic that why a mm. why a, there is no logic in English, right? Mm. But in German, you mm. will find clear cut rules where to use a and where to use a. And second thing, there is no third sound apart from these two sounds. Okay, okay. so I told you mm. there are two sounds a and a. Got it? A mm. and a. Now you have to understand where a will come and where the second sound will come. for that mm. i am giving you one hint okay what you have to do mm. see i have written three examples here in red if you see my mouse pointer okay mm. what you have to do you have to count 
जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक दिस यू हैव टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ डायरेक्ट कॉन्सोनेंट वॉट आर कॉन्सोनेंट दिस बी सी डी टिल जेड दिज आर कॉल्ड कॉन्सोनेंट ओके ऑल द लेटर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम ए ई आई ओ यू द रिमेनिंग ट्वेंटी वन आर कॉन्सोनेंट सो वॉट आई एम सेंग यू हैव टू काउंट द डायरेक्ट कॉन्सोनेंट कमिंग आफ्टर ए यू हैव टू जस्ट काउंट जस्ट टेल मी वॉट इज द काउंट एंड आई एम सेंग डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट मीन्स विच आर कमिंग डायरेक्टली विदाउट एनी गैप ओके सो ए एल टी टेल मी हाउ मेनी आर देर टू टू ओके लेट्स होल्ड ऑन नेक्स्ट एफ आर ए जी ई एन आफ्टर ए हाउ मेनी वन गॉट इट बिकॉज आफ्टर जी ई इज कमिंग आई स्टॉप माई काउंटिंग इयर सो काउंट इज वन गेटिंग डोंट इंक्लूड दिस एन इन योर काउंटिंग आई टोल्ड डायरेक्ट कॉन्सेंट ओनली राइट डायरेक्ट ओनली वन इज देयर जी देन टी आर ए जी ई एन हाउ मेनी वन सो नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट आई मीन बाई काउंटिंग नाउ द रूल इज वेन एवर आफ्टर ए सिंगल कॉन्सोनेंट ओके वेन एवर आफ्टर ए सिंगल कॉन्सोनेंट द साउंड विल बी आ सॉरी द साउंड विल बी आ वेन एवर आफ्टर ए सिंगल कॉन्सोनेंट द साउंड विल बी आ राइट अदरवाइज इट विल बी अ अदरवाइज इट विल बी अ सो लेट सी हियर ए एल टी हाउ मेनी टू टू सो स्पीक दिस अल्ट अल्ट परफेक्ट नेक्स्ट एफ आर ए जी ई एन आफ्टर ए हाउ मेनी वन फ्रागन फ्रागन नेक्स्ट यस परफेक्ट टी आर ए जी ई एन स्पीक ट्रागन ट्रागन सो यू गॉट माई पॉइंट नाउ हाउ टू हैंडल द साउंड ओके एंड सी दिस अ साउंड विच आई एम सेंग डोंट मेक इट प्योर अ फॉर अमन ओके लिटिल बिट ट्वेंटी परसेंट आ यू हैव टू मिक्स इन दिस ओके डोंट मेक इट प्योर अ दैट इज जस्ट अ वे टू राइट ओके टू एक्सप्लेन यू बट प्रैक्टिकली दस्ट साउंड इज आ देर इज नो डाउट इन दैट प्योर आ हंड्रेड एंड वन परसेंट फुल आ साउंड फुल फुल एंड फाइनल आ साउंड ओके बट द सेकेंड साउंड इज काइंड ऑफ मिक्सचर ऑफ अ एंड आ ओके एट्टी परसेंट अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट आ यू हैव टू टिल्ट लिटिल विट टू आर्ट्स आ ओके सो डोंट मेक इट प्योर अल्ट इट्स लिटिल लिटिल विट लिटिल विट आ यू हैव टू पुट अल्ट अल्ट गोट गोट बट डोंट मेक इट प्योर आ डोंट मेक इट प्योर आल्ट दैट्स रॉन्ग टोटली रॉन्ग ओके ट्वेंटी परसेंट आ एट्टी परसेंट अ आल्ट स्पीक यस दैट्स अ साउंड राइट समवेर इन द मिडल ऑफ आ एंड अ या नेक्स्ट इज ई ई इज हैविंग यू नो दे इज वन वर्ड पेमेंट ओके इन पेमेंट इफ यू सी वॉट इज द साउंड ऑफ ए कमिंग इट्स ए साउंड ए सिंपल ए वाई ए साउंड राइट या दैट्स अ सिंपल ए साउंड दैट्स अ साउंड ऑफ ई सो स्पीक दिस एस एन एस एन एस एन ओके ए साउंड इज कमिंग A for area, yeah. square area. Mathematical in mathematics we find the area of square area A sound, right? Yeah. Area A sound that is the sound of German E S N. S N. Yes S N. Next E G A L. Second example. Try it. Egal. Yes. Why? Because after A one consonant. Okay. After A one consonant sound will be A. Ah, that becomes yeah. Egal. Right. That becomes egal. Got my point? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. S N N egal. Simple. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next is I. Next is I. I is having two sounds. Again, there's a counting. Are you able mm. to understand? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I is having two sounds. Yeah, switch. Mm. Mm. I yeah. is having two sounds. Long E and short E. Long mm. E, long E, like sheep, deep, tree. Okay, she, the long E, mm. and sec, short E. Mm. Second sound is short E, like ship, trick. Okay, dip, Mickey Mouse, kick, football, kick. Mm. Okay, short E. Again, the same story, same logic. You have to do the counting, right? After mm. I, one consonant. That's a long E, otherwise short E. Mm. Getting? Okay. Mm. Yeah. So I double S T. Tell me how many after I? Three. Three. Short E. Ist. Speak. Ist. 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 Simple. The sh will not come. Don't make it ist. Sa sa. Simple sa for sun. Sa for Sunday. Ist. 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 Yes. Sa. Ist. Yes. Yes. Ist. Okay. Next. W I D E R. After I, how many? After I, one. One. <coughs> Vider. Okay, Vidar. Vidar, got it. The long e. Next, Vidar. Yes. Next is b i l d. Mm. Two. Short e. Speak. Built. 
It's only like 10-15 minutes that you have started the language. Okay, the rules might look a little bit tough to you in the beginning, but you can understand one thing: if the things are looking difficult with the rules, then what will happen if we don't have the rules? Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah. so it's all about you know it's all about spending some time with them. Once we start the grammar, before that, I will be making you practice more than one thousand words with these rules, one by one, each and every word. Okay. so you will be able to retain these rules just the way i have retained right you they will dissolve in your brain completely you will now as soon as the word comes in front of you you will be able to calculate quickly that what are a uh, single one two constant all these things easily right okay and see as i told you today it is just a demo it's not like that i am teaching you anything right this demo is just for you to see whether you are able to understand or not once you join from tomorrow day after tomorrow we'll be starting from again from that poem abc de afg right mm -hmm. so we'll be starting mm -hmm. from there again today it is just just a kind of a small demo for you to see the curriculum and see your comfortability whether you are able to understand or not okay? okay so let's revise again first and then we'll take the next constant so what you have to do just if you want you can go through the rule you have to just speak the german word written you have to just read that out okay mm -hmm. yeah and speak is uh, first one is geep geep Hmm. Hmm. Start. Very good. Next A. Alt. Hmm. Fragen. Hmm. Fragen. Alt. Fragen and Fragen. Fragen. Okay. Next is E. S N. Hmm. Egal. Hmm. Egal. Yeah. S N N. Egal. Next I. X. Yeah. Okay. This is is and Vita. next is is. Vidar, Vidar, okay. Is and then Vidar. Built. Yes. Built. Built. Next. Okay. Next is O. Next is O. Right. O is having two sounds. O is having two sounds. First sound is O for Korea. Right. Okay. First sound mm -hmm. is O for Korea, or you can say O for solar, solar energy. Right. O for Solar or your company name. Speak your company name. Atos. Atos. The O sound coming in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the first sound. And second sound is the O for awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. O for awesome. Awesome weather. Awesome pick. Or the English word warm. W a r m. Warm. The O sound coming in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Warm. Gone. Gone. He has gone to the movie. The O sound coming in that. Right. These are the two mm -hmm. sounds and the same story. You have to do the counting after O one constant. That's the O for Korea, O for solar. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. O for awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you see the first example after O, tell me how many consonants? One. One. So speak the example. Order. Order. Next, S O double L. After O, how many? Two. Two. Speak the example. Zol. Zol. Now one more thing. This S we will take in the consonants later. I am just telling you because the example is there. Single yes. S is Z, Z for zoo, Z for zebra. Mm. Okay, and double mm. S is S, double mm. S is S. Yeah. Okay, mm. double S is S, S for sun. So here, if you see, you know, I double S T, 
there was double s right hmm. so hmm. we just spoke it like ist clear yes. but here hmm. if you see in this single s is there that's z for zebra that becomes zol zol right hmm. zol next m o n a t right after o one consonant after a one consonant speak the example monat monat right after o one consonant and after a one consonant that becomes monat not yeah. yeah next k o r b k o r b after o how many consonants uh, two. two two so that becomes o for awesome awesome yeah and b in the end is p so speak cor e okay yeah. there is one cor- word there is one word in the english that's called corporation okay mm-hmm. so corporation mm-hmm. corp right that is the corp. sound coming here german corp means basket that corporation is kind of company okay mm-hmm. but the sound mm-hmm. is same corp corp mm-hmm. yeah why corp. so you will not call it as core we can see they are writing something they are speaking something okay mm-hmm. if you don't have these rules we will end up speaking core or corp or whatever comes to our mind but now you need to be like you no know, 101% sure that corp is corp okay no corp and corp corp. and all these things right uh-huh. yeah, this 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 example sol right the first time learners of language uh-huh. who have done a1 they do so many mistake in this it's a very common word should okay uh-huh. i have seen half of the people is speaking zol sol whatever or zol uh-huh. okay all three are wrong the only answer is zol okay uh-huh. Ich soll Deutsch lernen. I should learn German. Okay, right? Ich soll Deutsch lernen. I should learn German. So soll means should. I should learn German. Yeah. Okay. Oder soll Monat and Corp. Got it? Next is you. The last one. Then we'll do revision and then we'll move ahead. Okay. I am going a little bit slowly right now so that you are able to retain out of this. Next is you. You is having the u sound. There is no counting. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, where was counting? Counting was there in a. Then e there was mm-hmm. no counting. E is having just the a sound, s n. Okay. Mm-hmm. Counting was there in i, long e and short e. And counting mm-hmm. was there in o, o and o, o for Korea and o for awesome. Mm-hmm. Right. In e and the last one u, we don't have any counting. It is simple u. Don't make it too short. Don't make it too long. Okay. Speak normally. Mm-hmm. Example. Tun. Speak. Tun. Next. <coughs> motor yeah motor next okay one second see in this motor this r which is coming now we never call it pure r don't make it motor it's wrong okay r in german it's kind of glutural glutural means coming from inside of the neck r dargal r r okay in french also they speak like that only so it's also called as french r also so it's not like pure uh, raman r r it's not like that okay it's motor mm-hmm. motor your your voice pitch should be like very very low when r is coming in the end okay only mm-hmm. you should be able to hear that r you don't have to stretch stretch uh, stress it uh, too much okay mm-hmm. it should be coming mm-hmm. from inside of the neck motor motor okay motor motor yeah okay. now the last example see i'll give you one overview of topic coming in the next lecture first of all as i told you we will be seeing the sounds of a till z okay Mm. after that we have one mm. more topic that is very very important topic of combinations combinations mm. of some letters in german so mm. one such combination mm. is sch mm. one such combination is sch sch mm. sound is sh sh sound okay mm. if you have heard of one company scbo sch bosch okay if you have heard of this company schindler which makes elevators and lifts okay yeah. if you have heard of this company schneider these are all yeah. german based companies word also wurschlag yes 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 many where you will find that many places okay so sch is a combination sch sound is sh what i mean by combination combination is you know whenever we have uh, this combination coming up then we don't have to break s c and h separately okay mm-hmm. we don't have to break it separately so that is sh sound only mm-hmm. right So S H is sh and this H in the end is silent. Okay, mm. H in the end is mm. silent. H in the end is silent. This becomes shu. Mm. Clear? This becomes shu. Mm. Got it? Tone, mm. mutter, and shu. Mm. Okay. Tell yeah. me any doubt so far? No, no, no not really. Tone, mutter, and shu. Yeah. 
account. Okay, so what I'm doing is first of all I have sent the PDF to you. Okay, your first task is download this PDF. I have sent you the first file. So, yeah, so Raman, just one thing. So I just want to note down few things. So mm -hmm. in case of O, we say it's a O and O sound. So mm -hmm. O like Korea, solar, mm -hmm. O is like awesome, warm, mm -hmm. gone, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for I, if you go up mm -hmm. for I, I'm just making a note for myself so that I, mm -hmm. I remember because this is a very good. Uh, definitely, kind of definitely, and you have to retain that. it in your mind, right? You have to store yeah. it in your brain. Yeah. So mm -hmm. E E is T you have written, and mm -hmm. I I I, I is it. having. I'll explain you I again. I is having two sounds. Okay. Yeah. Long E, long E like sheep, tree. Okay. Jeep. Got it. Mm -hmm. Knee, yeah, knee, yeah. right? The long e, and second is short e. So short e like football kick, ship. ship. Kick. Yes, kick. football kick, ship. Okay, trick, yes. mathematical trick. Okay, trick. that is short yeah. e. So the story logic is same. After i, one constant directly. Yeah. That's a long e like sheep. Otherwise, short e. So if you see here, yeah. i double s t. See how many constant? Three. Constant. Short e. Okay. Ist. 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 Yes. Ist. Yes. Then W I D E R after I how many? Yeah, one. Uh, one. Vidar, uh, Vidar. Then B I L D after I how many? Two. Two. Wait, Short wait. E. Built. Built. Okay. Wait. D in the end is the built. Okay. Wait. Let's take some yeah. more example. G I B after I how many? Uh, one. Long so E. Deep. Yes. Geep. Okay. Then K I N D yeah. after I how many? Two. Two. Kint. Short E. Kint. Correct. Then okay, so now you now you got it. The rules are in sync. Whatever yeah. examples we have taken, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So you know you have to you have to store these examples in your brain, right? Don't depend on the PDF because when you will go yeah. out, you will not have the PDF, right? Today just a first lecture, so obviously take your time. Yeah. But ultimately, I am telling you, after two three lectures, you have to we will practice so much that everything you know it gets dissolved in your blood completely. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you will go out, you will not be having any PDF, laptop, or anyone to help you. You have to st speak out spontaneously as per the knowledge which you have. Okay, yeah. so yeah. store it. Yeah, make small, small mind maps in your brain. B D G P T K, sure. right? B D G P T K. Any word ending with B D G, just remember that B D G P T K like that. B D G P T K. Any word ending with B D N G, sound is part and cur. Then yeah. A is having two sounds, A and A. Okay. Oh. Kind yeah. of you can understand there are two brothers, A and A. Two brothers. Okay. So elder yeah. brother A yeah. and younger brother A. Got yeah. it. Yeah. So count is one. The elder brother, right? Yeah. First position, yeah. elder brother. Then. Position number two, two plus. That is count two, two plus. A, uh, got it. A uh, and A. Uh. Then E is having the A sound. S N egal. Then I is having again two sounds. Two sisters. Long E and short E. Short E. Long E yeah. and short E. Count one. Long E. Count one plus short E. Okay. A E I O. O is having again two sounds. O and O. O for Korea. O for awesome. Right. Again the same story. Count one. O. Count one plus O for awesome. And yeah. U is very simple. Yeah. U normal, okay, yeah. right. This is just the beginning, right? You will see what kind of grammar rules you will be having, right? Uh, so that's why it becomes uh, very easy. I have not invented these rules. I'll tell you from where I got. I got them mm -hmm. from some books in US, okay. So they are the okay. authors in Collins, McGraw and all these books. They have applied their brain and they have little bit tried to uh, solve out the pronunciation, actually. Okay, they have yeah. themselves devised these rules and they are written in bits and pieces. Some rule in which book, some rule in which book. So from all those yeah. three, four books, I have compiled this uh, uh, PDF actually. Okay, yeah. it's not mentioned yeah. in one single book. BDG, PTK in different book and AEIOU in different book. Wall combinations in different book. SCH, TSCH in different book. It works like that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, but once you practice them, you will find you know that's why I, that's what I was saying. I never start the grammar from day one. Okay, you can see how complex is the pronunciation, right? It looks very easy when we do the rule, but without rule, now it's like all hit and try. I don't know what to speak if I don't have the rules. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. Okay, let's move ahead now. Let's take some consonants also. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. Then uh -huh. we'll uh, wind up. Okay, so first consonant is B. So B, if you remember, I gave you one table, right? Uh -huh. That any uh -huh. word ending with B, the sound is P for potato. Right, yeah, B D G P T K, B D G P T K. That was the table. So first yeah. case is that whenever B coming in the end, see my mouse pointer. The sound is P, P for potato. Okay, yeah. and remaining places, remaining places. You know, first first case I took that B in the end. So what is the remaining case? Remaining cases B can come anywhere except the end. Okay, yeah. beginning yeah. or middle, second, third, fourth till the yeah. second last position it can come anywhere. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. this B coming anywhere that will be simple B for Bombay, B for Ball, B for yeah. Berlin. Okay, okay. Speak the example. Berlin. Berlin, not Berlin. Berlin. E E E. Berlin. Okay, Berlin. Next. Oben. 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 Right. Okay. You don't Oben. have to stress the E sound. You don't have to sing a song. Oben. It's not like that. Simple. Oben. Okay. Oben. Oben. Next. Mm. Corp. Corp. Simple. After O two consonant, B in the end per that we have done already. Corp. Yeah. Then G I B. Gip. Gip. After I single consonant, long E. B in the end is per. Gip. Yeah. See, whenever any word comes in front of you, first of all you have to attack its vowel. Okay. You can see we are speaking so many examples from top, even though we have not even done the consonants, right? Mm. Because you know consonants mm. are almost almost kind of out of twenty one, you will find fifteen just like English only. Right mm. in four five mm. only you will have some new rule that in J the sound is here in Y it is different in Z it is different in R it is different in S it is different okay and in B D G P T K that kind of thing is there but remaining all are like they're very easy okay mm. after this mm. we'll have one more topic of uh, combinations in the next lecture that is the heart of this topic actually okay whatever importance you are seeing here it is like ten times ten times more important than what we are doing today okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Belen, Oben, Corp, and Gip. Simple. Gip. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next is C. C is simple. K for kite. Okay. Okay. Speak one example here. C A M P I N G. Camping. You can speak like that, but actually it's an English word. They they have taken it okay. from English into German. Okay. Okay. So whenever we import any word from a new language, from from another another language into our language, we speak it like its original language only. Okay. So okay. they have taken this word from English. They will speak like English only. Camping. It's just like that. You have the word pizza, right? Yeah, but I think in this case it will be ping. I mean K, right? Yeah, that, is, that is what that is what I am trying to say. You can you can make it come pink, okay? But it okay. has been taken from English, so we have to don't we don't have to follow okay. any word, okay. okay? It has been taken from English, so blindly you can say camping, just like English as it is camping. Yeah. That will work completely, okay? It's just like that. You know, you have one word pizza. Now this pizza is of Italian origin. Italian dictionary. Mm. Okay, in Italy, mm. in Italian language, the sound of Z is T plus S. Okay, T for tum. There's a Hindi word tum. You know that, right? Mm. So mm. T plus S. Okay, so that's why that we say it's pizza. We never say pizza, pizza. We say pizza. Got it? Mm. Because we try mm. to speak it like that only, and that is the correct way. Because we have taken it from a different language into the English language. That's why we say pizza. Mm. Right, so in mm-hmm. German also you have to speak it like Italian only. You will you will speak, speak pizza only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next is D. D. In the end, B D G P T K. D in the end sound is T for tomato. Mm-hmm. T. Okay. Mm-hmm. Beginning or middle. D D for dog. D for dog. Mm-hmm. Okay. Try mm-hmm. the first, fourth, and fifth example first. Doom. Doom. Very good. Next. Bart. Very good. D in the end, T, and after one consonant, so it's Bart. Okay. So you will not call it as Bard from today, or Bard or Bard. That are all wrong. It's Bart. Okay. Then last. Hunt. Hunt. Okay. So you know, after a two consonants are there, as per the rule, it should be Hunt. But don't make it Hunter Hunt. I told you, twenty thirty percent R sound you have to mix. Okay. Yeah. So kind of mixture, Hunt, Hunt, Hunt. Getting what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Now the second and third example. I was talking about a topic called combinations. So S C H I told you S C H is sure this one, right? Now I'm giving you two three more combinations. First one is E I. Okay. All these combinations you will get in the PDF also in the next lecture. Okay. I'm just giving you an overview today. Around twenty one are there. So three four I'm taking today. E I is I sound I. Okay. E I is I sound. Just like mm. the English word cry, try, shy, my, high, I sound. Okay, mm. I E is E sound. E. Okay. Just like mm. the word she, e, me. Yeah. Okay. A uh, deep tree, the E sound. Mm. And you don't have to confuse them. They look very similar. E I and I E. The hint is E I ending in I sound is I. Okay. Mm. I E ending in E sound is E simple. E. Yeah. Now don't confuse the two sounds together any time. Mm. Okay. Mm. I have seen many times mm. people mix E I and I E together. There are two different combinations, two different sound. The shortcut is 
ei ending in i sound is i ie ending in e sound is e mm. got it mm. and just one mm. last rule i told you that the sound of e is a single e okay there's one last yeah. rule whenever e is coming in the end whenever mm. single e coming in the end that is the a uh, a uh sound a uh sound like aman so you will call mm. this word as by the speak by and the by the by the so by the you will not call it as by day it's by the by the 30% Indians they call it as by day. It's wrong actually. By the. So if you have seen this word D A N K E, right? The Danke. actual native sound is Danke. Okay. The corrupt form is Danke. You will find many people they speak Danke also. Okay. But the actual sound is Danke. I'll tell you from where the Danke came. There is one one more word for thank you. Danke Shon, if you know. Okay. So that mm -hmm. Danke Shon is a single word. Out of that, what people have done, they have they have trimmed the Shon from the end. And then they think that when we remove Sean from Danke Sean, the remaining word is Danke. But that is not the way. Danke is a separate word existing in German dictionary. And Danke Sean yeah. is one more word existing in German dictionary. Okay. So this we have to speak as per the rule. Right. After A2 consonant, little bit A I will put and E in the end is A. Danke. Speak. Danke. Danke. So avoid speaking Danke. Okay. Avoid that. You might find people speaking Danke also, but I am giving you the actual sound which is there as per the rules. That's Danka only. Okay. Yeah, I think this is very common word here. So I. Yeah, you know, no, but I've seen many people they speak Danke also. Many Europeans did themselves. You know, the problem is there. Germany is actually a mix of all the people. You will see people from Poland also. You will see people from Italy also coming there. Okay, so they yeah. develop their own accent, and it look looks like to us that uh, that is the correct sound. So that is not the correct one. The correct is one which I have given you in the PDF. Okay. I think here people uh, more than Danka they they speak Danka sure. So yeah, Danka yeah. Shun. Danka Shun, Danka. Then then it's not a very ease coming in the middle. You speak like that Danka Shun. Okay. Right. Both both are correct. You know, in, in short they speak Danka. In short sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And formally it's like Danka Shun. Simple. Then W I E D E R speak this Weeder. Weeder. So that was the word I was telling you at the time. The one we have done in I that is W I D E R. That's a different word. Okay. Mm. Many times mm. people who have little knowledge prior, they they tell me that is the spelling is wrong. Spelling is not wrong. This word is different. Okay. This means mm. against. It's a preposition. And this one w i e d e r. This is an adverb. This means again the greeting yeah. auf wiedersehen. That is having this word only. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Auf wiedersehen. Auf wiederhören. That's the same word. Wieder. And i e is e. Wieder. By day. Wider. Yeah. By day. By day. Not by day. By day is both. By One the, more combination I am giving you. A U is ao ao sound. Okay. Ao. Right. Ao sound. Ao. Just like mm. the English word. How now cow. Okay. The mm. ao sound. So speak this example. Okay. Now the less, next letter which we have is F. F is simple for for football. Okay. Mm. So speak the first example. F A U L. Foul. Foul. Because A U I told you ao like how cow. Yeah. So foul. Oh. Foul means lazy. My brother is very mm. foul. My brother is very lazy. Okay. Mm. Then S C H A F. S C H is sir. I told you S C H sir. After A one consonant, A sound. So shaf. Speak. Shaf. Shaf. Simple. Okay. So is it getting easy for you now as we are moving ahead? Right. Yeah, I think the way you are explaining it, uh, yes, it is <laughs> looking easy. Yes, yes, because you know the, there was some trouble in the vowels because it was like first time you have started learning German. Okay, and vowels are having the major rules, and right? all that counting one, two, and all that thing is there. It, half of the time, it looks like we are learning mathematics. That is the thing. But as you move ahead, you will find it becomes very easy. You can see constants are so easy. We are just just using what all we have done in last thirty minutes. Only that much we are using to do them. Okay, there is nothing, not much, not much new. Only the like E I is there, I E A U that thing is there. Next is G. G in the end is K. B D G P T K. Okay. Beginning mm. or middle, g for gun or g for good, okay? Mm. Or g for go or g for mm. got. G sound will come. J will never mm. come. Don't make the j sound for g, okay? Mm. J kind of sound does not exist in German. J, t, okay? The this kind of sound don't exist. These soft sounds, okay? It's g for gun and in the end is k. K for kite. Speak the example. Gagan. Gagan. Next. Tak. Very good. Tak. So you will not call it as guten tag. Use a guten tak. Okay. Next. 
Kluk. 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 Okay. Kluk means smart. Kluk. Yes. Smart. One last thing I told you, G in the end is K. Okay. But you will yeah. find lot of exceptions in this rule. Only in this this rule, not every, everywhere. Okay? okay. Not lot of. I would say you know thirty forty words are there out of complete okay, which are having these exceptions. So I'll okay. give you one example a, exception M A G, right? As per our rule, it should be mark. Got it? Mm. But actually, it is not mark. It is mag ish mag. That's a very common mm. word you have seen people speaking ish mag, right? Mm. Okay. Mag yeah, means basically some uh, mag is basically for desire. Right, may may I na kind of uh, some kind of possibility actually, not desire, kind of possibility. For example, uh, uh, as mag regnen, it might rain. As mag hoiter regnen, as it might rain today. Okay. As mag hoiter snein, it that might. That's a common word. It's makhan. M a c h a. That is different. That is simple. That's a different word. Makhan. That's a totally different. That's word. different. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you see the spelling na c h. Okay. I am talking yeah. about G in the end. That's a totally different yeah, yeah. word. This we'll see in the coming lecture. This C H is a combination. Okay, so I'll tell you. You have mm. uh, asked that, so I'll tell you that also. See, C H is a combination. Whenever C H comes after A O or U, that is the K sound. That's why we say Makhan. Okay, Makhan. but when it comes after any other letter, that's called Ish. Okay. Ish. Yeah. Here also you will get five ten percent exceptions. Okay, like uh, there are some accent wise variations in Germany. Okay, ninety nine percent people have one accent, and one percent people are there. People who are uh, living nearby Italy and all that area, they speak reverse. They will speak this as ik. They will not say speak ish. Okay. So uh, sometimes you might find one of your client is speaking ik. Okay. So at that time, don't under don't uh, assume that we are learning wrong or he is speaking wrong. He is speaking as per his accent. Okay. In India, mm. if you see the Hindi of Kashmir is different and Hindi of Bengal, uh, Mumbai is different. Yeah. Okay? And Hindi of Calcutta is different. Hindi of uh, MP is different. So that kind of variations are there. Is there also. Okay, but ninety-nine. Yeah, you I have to follow our rules. Yeah. Yeah. So Bavaria, there yes. are a few exceptions. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. There you will find the exception, and there you might find this, which which I'm which I'm saying you. Okay. Right. This is just like the word for twenty, the S Z W A N Z I G. Okay. Mm -hmm. The eighty-five, ninety percent people they speak Zwanzish. Okay. Ten percent people you will find they speak Zwanzik. Okay, so it depends, you know. It depends, like your client is from yeah. which city, or if you're interacting to your colleague, if he is non-native German, then it depends from where he has learned German. Okay, the person mm -hmm. who taught him German, he used to learn from which accent. So all these things are there. So I'm telling you these two things prior. Okay, so that you should not have this kind of confusion. You have to follow our rules. Okay, the ones which I'm giving you, they are universal. Whether you go to Switzerland, Germany, Austria, anywhere you go, they are all hundred and one percent valid. Okay, nobody can challenge you. I'm telling you, nobody can challenge your pronunciation if you practice them properly. Okay, you might yeah. find mistake in other people's sound, but let it be. But if the, the thing which I'm saying, you might see some differences. Okay, one or two percent that happens in every language. Mm. Okay, so you have to be ready with that. Sometimes the person might say ik, but yeah, that will yeah, that, that will happen. Too, I mean, yes, yeah. yes, but that will happen only once in thousands. Okay. But it will happen. One percent chances are there that you will find it on YouTube. If you if you go, there is one person. He has I don't know what's his name. It's like uh, some one short person is there. He's having some YouTube channel. He's posting some videos there. He always speaks ik there. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. One person is there having. I think from I don't know from which country he is, but he speaks ik actually. All other people speak ish, and he speaks ik. So you will find people who are using the reverse sound also. Okay. So again, tag and glue. So what I am saying, the G coming in the end. This is K as per the rule, but you will find some exceptions in this. Okay. Yeah. You will find sure. mag also coming there. Okay. For sure. example, there is one more word, J U N G. J U N G. This means young, right? Young. Yeah. Young. This is called young. We never say young. Okay. It's called young yeah. only. My brother is young. My brother is young. I will yeah. not say young. I will say young. G G for gun simple. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so these yeah. are some one or two words, some words where you might find this this rule is getting violated. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So G F G next H is very very important. Okay, H in the beginning first position, first position, right? Mm. So far we are dealing last position and remaining position. Now the reverse, first position. When H is at the first position, sound is H for honey. Mm. Okay, H for honey. Mm. Middle or end, it is silent. No sound. Take care of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beginning, so mm -hmm. it's normal, na. Obviously, in English also you say her only, right? But middle or end, this second rule is important. If it is coming anywhere at from second till any position, it is silent. Mm -hmm. See, if, speak the first example. 
मीनिंग okay first column you have to speak right now at home you can refer the second column in double quotes to recollect its sound okay mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. gan and zan mm-hmm. got it g h mm-hmm. now j is very important okay j is y for yellow mm-hmm. y for yellow y for yellow okay simple so speak the example yunga yunga yung is different yunga e in the end i told you Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you remember, younger. in the end is ah, uh, this becomes younger. Okay. Younger. There was one word here. If you see this one, bider. In the end, I told you ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Younger. Yes. Yes. So this becomes younger. Yeah. Now the last thing for today, K L M N P. That's very easy. Just like English. K L M N P. Mm. Kala mana pa same sound which we have in English. Speak the example one by one. Plus. Good. Next. Chicken. Very good. Next. Killer. Killer. Next. Will next. Atman next. Swim very good next. Renan 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 not Renan it's Renan Renan okay Renan yes Renan yes yes. Brown Brown A U O remember foul Brown Brown next. Lip Lipper E in the end okay. E in the end yeah. Lipper got it. Lip. Yes, lip. yes. So don't call it as lippe or lip. It's called lippa, okay. lippa. Okay. So today what we have done, we have just done one A B C D video. Then we have done one table B D G P T K. Then the letters A E I O U. Then the consonants B C D F G H J K L M N P till here. Okay. Uh-huh. Now, now the what next thing is remaining from Q till Z first thing and then the umlaut letters which I told you. A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut, the beta, and then uh-huh. your vowel combinations. Out of that, two, three we have taken today. E, I, I, E, A, U, S, C, H. So another uh-huh. fifteen are pending, right? And uh-huh. then we'll discuss them. I'll just show you what we are going to do next. See, first of all, we'll again start from here. First thing, uh-huh. okay? We'll start from that uh, top. As I told you, we'll be again starting from the A, B, C, D beginning from the video and all. Then uh-huh. we'll be doing these rules. We'll finish the pronunciation. we'll do the vowel combination everything and after that i'll make you practice the sounds okay uh, if you uh, uh, in that uh, if i show you one more sheet here if you see there are some text written here okay these are uh, from exam only from a1 exam okay uh, so these text will be reading them in the class you can see uh, the length of some words see barn of strasser they have combined okay barn of uh, is railway station and strasser street they have combined it's in every city wherever you have mm. banov you will get the banov strasser also mm. okay so they have combined it mm. then you know zan eight ten shiman you can see some of the words are typically little bit looking little bit lengthy okay mm. supermarket they have combined it supermarket okay see see this mm. word see this word okay can you mm. see right yeah. so it this is simple word for offer or sale zondrange bond mm. means discount or offer Okay, so O double F E R of English it becomes three times more lengthy, right? Uh, so you know at that uh, time you you see this word, this one. See, it looks uh, very short, but it it's not. It's very tricky. Bakery. Okay, uh, so you will find some words they are little bit lengthy, which are not as easy. See this fair coy friend. Okay, you again side to uh, see the length of words, which is uh, usually not there in English. So that's why you have to spend time with this pronunciation. so that that fear goes away of lengthy words okay the fear will go away na right now just i am able, i am not afraid i, I can speak, speak them easily 
okay mm-hmm. because you know i have practiced it so much that i know how to speak that okay so mm-hmm. that same level you have to do practice so that you know when you are interacting with the client you might have documents also you might have emails also okay and mm-hmm. you might be required to read out something also technical stuff in your mm-hmm. in technical uh, it domain they have much lengthy words are there okay mm-hmm. especially in your telecom domain mm-hmm. you will find much lengthy words are there okay these are mm-hmm. all very very basic words na kind of scenario of supermarket it's very easy but in your technical mm-hmm. stuff you will find that the words might be really more lengthy than this also it is very very mm-hmm. possible okay very much possible mm-hmm. so that's why we spend so much time with this so that you know that fear goes away and then you can actually focus on the grammar at that time okay mm-hmm. because from pronunciation and you will be totally free after two lectures that okay now we can handle it let it be whatever mm-hmm. be the length of word okay mm-hmm. so we'll do till here today right now the thing is uh let's just uh, end this once and then okay. we'll just uh, do the other discussion and then we'll plan for the classes okay one second sure. i've already sent this video to you yeah this one okay. this pdf also i've sent yeah. you yeah yep yeah. okay.